Okay, so this is kind of how our demo is going to go real quick. Um, so what we have here is we have our machine catalogs. I have a application group and a Windows 8 group. They are associated to desktop, which is our server OS, which is the applications, and our Windows 8. So we have two desktops here and only one server onto this. Notice we don't have any sessions. So, um, and then we have our application list. So what I'm going to do is notice we don't have any sessions right now. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Windows 8 with desktop lock uh, enabled or installed and show you kind of the, the flow. So, you know, in most corporate environments, this would be a control delete instead of fast user. But um, in this environment, it's my lab. So we're, we're going to just go with uh, fast user today. Still joining on to, so it's joined to my domain. This is a must. Um, and it has to have a couple um, a couple things enabled for this all to work. So you have to have the storefront URL associated to the trusted sites um, under internet or intranet. Um, and then you have to have, if you're not using a public cert, you would have to have that installed. Um, I did that with GPO and I, I'll kind of run through the screenshots. But I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. Um, notice right now, I'm not going to a desktop shell. What it's doing in the background is bringing up receiver. Um, and with that, it's going to instantly go into preparing my desktop, which is launching my Zen app desktop. And it kicks that off just like you would normally see. But notice there's no user interaction as far as a user is concerned. They're just logging into their Windows desktop and they get their desktop. Um, these are optional. You can have them, you know, we can disable this entirely or keep it up there. Um, you can start it minimized. It remembers where you left it. So I had it, um, up last time I was logged in and I am at my desktop. So notice we went from a Windows 8 to a Windows 2016 tech preview. Um, so all of my applications normally, you know, so I have my Outlook, we go to all apps, it's the new look and feel, so it's more the Windows 10 type of feel on a Windows 8 box and it instantly just gives you that desktop look and feel. Um, what I will do here is I'm going to launch Citrix storefront or Citrix receiver on a Google. Um, so this is on my normal desktop. So you know, this would be more of the kiosk style where a user comes, logs in. Um, when they're done, uh, we would have a disconnect button for them right on the desktop. So when they when they leave, they can just walk away from their machine. Um, here in a second, I'll show you kind of the difference um, with desktop lock versus a normal desktop. So what I'm going to do it is log in with the same user account that I logged into that Windows 7 or Windows 8 desktop with. So I have a couple more. Notice I have more published apps. Um, it will launch desktops in order. So it will launch my desktop first and then try launching Windows 8 um, if there's multiple desktops. So desktop is my Zen app desktop versus my virtualized Windows 8 desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch this guy. And what we'll notice in the background here, so I'm going to minimize some stuff. As that is launching, you're going to notice it's going to disconnect this session. And instead of normally just bringing you back to your desktop, it's going to completely sign you out of the Windows 8.1 desktop and make it readily available for the next user to come in. So 
I have my desktop right where I left it. Um, if we would have had an app open, it would have been continuing to run. So like if I have paint, um, and we'll just draw something real quick. Um, so now if I come back to it, you know, if I, this would be more of your office, back office, um, or even nurses uh, station versus a office or, or an exam room or more of that walk-up kiosk mode type situation. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and log back into this desktop. Desktop lock, you know, enable, so it's just going to fire off receiver for me instead of giving me the full-blown desktop, getting into everything. Um, so preparing desktop, it's launching desktop, which is going to steal this session. So desktop goes away. I'm right back to where I left off. I get all, you know, right where I left off in paint. Um, obviously the screen size is a little different, so that kind of makes for a challenge. Um, on certain situations, you know, uh, if you have an app explode, you may have to resize it. Um, but other than that, you know, right where I left off. Now, um, so now in my win virtualized Windows desktop, if I, I'm done for the day and sign out, or if I'm you know off shift, whatever the case may be, if I sign out of this, it's going to sign me right out of the Windows desktop um, and bring it back to that control delete screen where the next user can instantly come in and grab their um, their session. So I'm going to let that that session close up here real quick. Um, the one thing too is if you do a disconnect, um, you'll get that same log off. So I'm going to log back in just to show the, the disconnect. Um, so just a note, my lab that I'm running all this off of is running roughly 18 VMs off three spinning disks. So it's it's not the most performing lab, but um, as you can tell, you know, we can get right into the desktop. I you know, get my all my apps just like I did. Um, but this time, instead of doing a log off or stealing my session, what I'm gonna do is, you know, if, if we had the, the disk disconnect button, which I don't have today, um, what we can do is just go in here and say disconnect. I'm going to leave and go to you know, an exam room. It still keeps my Windows desktop up in the data center running, but it logs me out of this Windows 8 machine so it's available for the next user or even for me to come back and grab my session. So right now it's it's reconnecting to that disconnected session I left up there. So notice my start menu is still open from doing the disconnect. Um, right where I left off, if I would have had you know a chart, a patient chart up, it'd still be up there and ready for me, you know, or ready for me to enter the exam room and be able to pull it up on that kiosk. So that's about it on the desktop lock scenario. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else really to show, but that, that gives you kind of the, the workflow of, and being able to reuse that older hardware without having to touch it as much. Um, the one thing to note is, so that was a user mode. If I log in as a admin on the network. Will I actually get the full-blown Windows shell? It won't auto-launch a desktop. Um, it will pump, prompt an error message, so it does you know give you that you know 
an elevated action is required or and my shell is fully restored. Um, if I log off, it's just ready to go for the user side, but as an admin, I still, um, I don't have to run any special commands to unfreeze it or disable that so I can actually maintain the, the desktop environment. So as uh, you know, a full-blown local admin on this box, you get the full-blown shell. As just a normal user, you just get um, Citrix receiver in the desktop lock mode. So that, that definitely you know, gives you uh, more flexibility in being able to manage the environment uh, without having to do uh, a lot of overhead of on freezing it, doing the update, resealing it, and then you know, making sure that it still works for that end user. Um, so that's, that's about it. And I'll just you know, go back in here and show you know, when I log in as a normal user instead of my admin account. Um, instantly goes right back to the desktop lock. So gives you guys a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, ease and management of your desktop environment. So that that is desktop lock in a nutshell.